Mark, thank you very much. East Tennessee State University students are getting ready to kick off the semester next week. For the first time in five years, on-campus dorms are at max capacity. Yeah, about 14,000 students are expected to be enrolled this fall semester. The university hopes to grow that number to 18,000 in the years ahead. Ashley Sharp found out with campus full, other arrangements are having to be made. Some students are off campus until a room opens up. Well, you could call it growing pains here at ETSU as these freshman classes just keep getting bigger. The university is running out of places to house students here on campus. Our residence halls are at complete capacity. We're putting students in hotels. With classes starting Monday, ETSU's campus is full, especially the dorms housing around 3,000 students. University leaders say about 75 students are temporarily staying off campus in hotels. After two to three weeks, we should be able to work them all in. They anticipate some students in the dorm will drop out or make other living arrangements for the fall semester. ETSU says it's not the worst problem to have because because it means the university is growing. Our freshman class will be north of 2000, which is up almost 400 over where we were during COVID. That speaks to the quality of our academic programs, the student experience, the affordability. ETSU is a destination institution. Freshmen who were able to get a spot in a dorm on campus are happy to be there. I'm right here around everything. It makes it so much better. We applied early so that we got that dorm room that we wanted. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, this is the first time dorms have even been able to be at full capacity. In 2020, only 50% capacity was allowed. In 2021, it went up to 90%. Now 100% is allowed and 100% is what they got. ATSU is in the early stages of planning to build a new residence hall on campus. The earliest it could open would be fall of 2026. We may in the interim need to look at lease agreements with all off campus providers to make sure that we can provide capacity for our current students who want that experience. In Johnson City, Ashley Sharp, News Channel 11.